Three, two, one, and we are live. Hello. Well, everybody, I told everybody soon that I was going to have a beautiful co-host on with me, hostess with the mostest, Tequila Kayla right here, <laughs> juggling the old jugs. <laughs> Finally making it happen. So, uh, since this is our first broadcast, Friday Night Live, right here at the old uh, man cave. Kayla was on her way. She got the shit scared out of her by a werewolf. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I felt like um, Kevin Hart was going to jump out and say, she wasn't ready. <laughs> 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 then I definitely would have the shit scared out of me. Actually, the well, werewolf was... Uh, he was kind of perverted. He grabbed your boobs and he grabbed your ass and, you know. But can you fucking blame him? Not really. <laughs> to be, uh... Quite be, frank. Yeah, to be quite <laughs> frank, to say the least. Uh, we don't have nobody with us just yet. Hopefully, um... People will start joining and, uh... Get the word out here. We're broadcasting live on Facebook and YouTube. Um... I haven't found a platform yet that uh, lets us go Instagram live, or else we would be uh, multi-social media wide. Yeah, so I mean, this does Twitter, it does Twitch, it does... Uh, I do OnlyFans. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Kayla does OnlyFans, which I'm going to flash that banner up right now. I'm going to leave it up for a minute and make sure I got that up there. Okay. You can sub and get all kinds of naughty ass shit. And I do put personalized content as well. See, it doesn't get much better than that. I got uh, my own uh, personal OnlyFans girl here with me. This is great. <laughs> can uh as for more. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> lordy, lordy, lordy. By the way, everybody, just so you know, this is the woman behind the boobs that uh, was in that Van Halen guitar picture that I posted the other day on Facebook. And going to be one of the rat calendar girls of 2022. Yeah, so that'll be coming out, I think. I'm not sure. I think it'll be right before January that it gets released, right? I would hope, or Rat Rock got to get some shit together. <laughs> well, I know, uh, I'm not sure who's shooting it this year, but I know uh, Rich Hall and Mark Petrini have shot it in uh, years past, as well as Mark Weiss, who's... Uh, I know it's at White Box Studio. I'm really excited. Okay, so then... Uh, then one of those guys down there, probably whoever uh, whoever took over that studio. I know uh, Nikita Boyd who mm. was and uh, Dan Doyle were the owners previous, but I think some uh, younger guy took it over uh, within the last uh, I don't know within the last couple of years. And I'm going to take over this calendar. <laughs> Okay, and this we podcast. got somebody out there. We got somebody liking this shit. Liking these titties. Oh, yes. So, um, did you, uh, did you put anything out for, uh, to get the calendar, uh, cover? Are you in the running for that as well? Yes. I mean, I really hope, oh, we got a comment. Um, I you really hope someone went by. Yay, I'm not holding my breath, but that'll just be a bonus if it happened. Oh, take all your money, subscribe, and give me all your money, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, what's going on, brother? Hope all's well. See, I told you I would get this shit off one day. And I'll get you off on OnlyFans. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Kayla's jack shaft. <laughs> Glad to hear it, brother. 
just so you know, I'm still over at Lust on uh, Sunday night. I start like seven o'clock if you want to stop in. Um, also, um, if you want to um, meet up, I'll give you a couple passes so you don't got to pay to get into this rat hole. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, everybody, uh, well, Jimmy, if you want, subscribe to Kayla's uh, OnlyFans, and uh, you better send me a message. I'll actually put um, her uh, Instagram up there as well. Put that up there right now. I got some hot and cool nude, slightly nude pictures on my Instagram, but all that exclusive sexy content is all on the OnlyFans. No censorship, nothing. Just uh, titties. Just raw titties. Raw me. Atta girl. <laughs> Atta girl. No filter with this one at all. No. Thank you. God. Okay, so we'll go back to the OnlyFans banner. Um, that'll be shown for a few minutes there. Um, not that anybody really gives a shit, but uh, show a little love to the YouTube channel with that long uh, ass URL. Um, YouTube.com channel forward slash all kinds of other shit. Just copy and paste that. I'm not even going to go into it. <laughs> oh, a lot of mumbo jumbo. Any future guests to the show, email me here. And uh, or see, any ideas, anything. Anything uh, more crazy stuff. I mean, we're going to try and get some uh, live music in here. We're going to also do a show on the girls of OnlyFans and uh, you know my uh, expertise Kayla's expertise on uh, how to monetize on that um, and make a guy come and uh -oh. <laughs> take his money <laughs> uh oh get rid of the poisons Okay, my, uh, yeah, you should know I'm clumsy as fuck and something is bound to drop here and there. Sorry. It wasn't you. It was actually my, um, what do you call it thing here? The, uh, the headphone amp. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'd be able to hear each other. <laughs> but they want it. Yeah. Maybe that's a good thing. No. Well, some <laughs> of the shit that's going on here tonight, yeah. But, um. Uh, yeah, so we're about eight minutes in, something like that. Um, we're going to probably be going for about another 10, 15, something like that. Friday Night Live here on the Fun House. You Turn got on a Friday. You got, uh, you got Tequila Kalo here with me. I'm your Uncle Fatty John Vincent. <laughs> Everybody's favorite fucking uncle. And I'm everybody's fucking girl, so there's that. <laughs> Forever your girl. Yes. In your dreams, that is. That's a cool dream, right? There, <laughs> That's an amazing wet dream. Waking up. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. COVID. Just kidding. Easy now. I don't want to have the, the China fungus. Oh, the the freaking parents and shit talking shit. <laughs> you know, uh, what the, was that Trump with the uh, the um, COVID fungus, uh, the the chink fungus? Oh my god, it. chink fungus! To all my Chinese friends out there, I didn't mean that. I just uh, I don't want anybody to get ass hurt over that one. I was just uh, commenting about the former president of the United States. Uh, and his silly comments. Yeah, that's uh, you know, the modern day Archie Bunker right there, Mr. Oh, Donald man. J. Trump. Archie Bunker, that was a great show back in the day. Oh, you get me a beer, hey? Fucking meathead. <laughs> oh, the meathead, the Pollock. <laughs> oh, there I go again. Okay. 
I don't know why I can't set this camera up for shit tonight. All right, somebody else just joined us. Who are you? Hello. Oh Welcome to the fun. Okay, you're only submissive out of the bedroom, Jim. <laughs> he always screws up his first wet dream. How do you do that? Yeah. Like, it's not a good time. You gotta fix that. You're like fucking a donkey or something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you fantasizing about not cute shit? You definitely have to subscribe then. Yeah, definitely, brother. Let me tell you something. I'll make your wet dreams. <laughs> a reality on OnlyFans. I mean, you know, stand up for a bit. Okay, turn around. Five, eight, uh, okay, nice come on. Come, come on. Back there. Look at that. Come on. Don't get much better than that. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? This is probably the craziest show that I've done. It's only about to get crazier. Oh, yeah. Don't sleep on us. Especially when we get a, a set day and, you know, kind of get our guests. I take much. a step back from, you know, being a MILF over here. <laughs> oh, listen. The, the whole MILF thing, you know. I mean, I, I met you when you were, you know. Oh, my God, 19. Fresh 18, 19 year old, right, right out of beauty school, or no, actually, you were still in beauty school. Yeah. Um, Esteban doing uh, oh, Fat goodness. Joe. Uh, and with those two so girls. Funny. Uh, yeah. He was lip syncing. He can't sing a fucking lick, that guy. Oh, my God. But, um, He's a great guy. Oh my god! I asked him about the pisser. I mean, we, him and I used to. Well, we used to work at Lust together when it was called the Den, and it was either he was the manager and I was the DJ or mm -hmm. vice versa. But either way, lunchtime over there would lead into like dinner. Okay. Uh, okay. So like, we'd order from this place, Chicken Galore, up in Woodbridge. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, we had the balls enough to get salads. <laughs> it, it was the funniest thing because for breakfast we'd have like pork roll egg and cheese sandwiches there of course fucking on quite a few occasions we would get like 10 chili dogs each and then i would hope a side of pussy somewhere in that well that depended i would hope on, that would be like at least an appetizer or something well that would depend on dessert. Who that day, you know what i mean right but there's um, some questionable creatures <laughs> to say the very least right and that's me being nice yeah to say the very least but um yeah so we're trying to get this uh like i said thank and we're trying to expand our markets as far as uh getting into more of the instagram uh market getting into uh Twitch, Twitter, um, which I don't really know if either one of them are like the best markets. I'm not sure. Yeah, Twitter and Twitch is questionable. Instagram, most definitely. Um, but yeah, all that millennial yeah. shit. <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, do we have to? I think I'm allowed to say that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm like are, on the crisp. Are you... Um, Obviously, you're familiar with all the Instagram platform, like oh my God. rules, regulations. And yeah, stuff. I'm so surprised that my Instagram hasn't been terminated a time or two. Yeah, well, I have. Like, They're so strict; it's ridiculous. I can't even put hearts on my titties. The fuck? Yeah, see, I mean. <laughs> even Facebook though I mean they're not really too liberal with anything no shocking so it's like everyone's becoming a fucking Karen it's getting boring out there right, covidy and boring I'll tell you what not for nothing I, I, I'd really like to present like HBO with something like this mm. just because it's cable TV yeah and you can really do more or less whatever you want right or go the route of a website 
and then just promote the website and try and draw traffic to it from the social right. media platforms. The only thing is you can't really go too X-rated with it. Unfortunately not. But uh, also, That's where you can go to my OnlyFans. <laughs> That's see true. That and shit. That's true. And uh, <laughs> actually, let's get back into it. Um, uh, actually, actually, I did put a little, you know, teaser from this. What on the Instagram? On my OnlyFans. Oh, well, okay. you know, the right. X-rated version <laughs> of me testing the mic. Oh, all right. So. But that once works. you see the tease, you just you keep scrolling and you see a whole lot more. So now, how long have you had your OnlyFans page? Halloween will be one year. And like that's pretty much like what you've been doing. I mean, yeah, like, it's really good, easy money. I have anywhere from like one hundred and fifty to two hundred subs, fans. It fluctuates. Right. Um. You know, Just like anything else and up and down. Exactly. So, but I really have stayed in the 150, 200 range. Um, yeah, I'm always having sales and stuff. I do a whole lot of sexy, naughty calls, big sign calls, personalized content. Like I said, you get to see all my exclusive naughty pictures, naked pictures from my photo shoots and whatnot. Okay. Etc. <laughs> gotcha. Now, um, myself as a photographer as well, um, do photographers actually start these OnlyFans pages? They actually well? do. I have a couple of my photographers, and they made an OnlyFans. And I, especially the one, I told him, like, why the hell not? You're the one taking pictures of all of us hot babes. They can find you and then from there promote the girls. Right. And we're all helping each other out. And we do like a whole lot of collab. Um, but yeah, it's but it's more promising if you're a female creator, of well, course. Of course. But I mean like like even the studio that we're in right now. Yeah. Which is more or less uh substituting as my man can. Right. Okay, now I'm uh I'm thinking about like renting this out for uh, for OnlyFans content, you know. Where you, that's not it. Right, where you can come in, set up your own scene, right? Do your own, you know, basically do your own. Bit. I can do the hair and makeup on the models, right? Whoever comes in, <laughs> right? And just make it a whole, you know, right? Yeah, sell the whole experience, right? I'm not just, you know. A cam slut. I'm also a business beauty babe as well. That's what I'm referring to. <laughs> well, don't forget also, no, I'm, I'm not the hair person. person. I'm also a <laughs> client. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, you know, I was thinking about doing the OnlyFans thing. But I'll be a creator? Yeah. No, okay. Well, <laughs> I know what your picture is. I'm just messing. Not King Salami, actually, but you know. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking, you know, more in the lines of, uh, you know, just doing, being a content guy, you know, like right, film, and doing the content. Absolutely. For the girls and whatever. Right. And, uh, and I'm sure you have other content that you can post that's like. Right. But I mean, I'll basically what I'll do is I'll post something let's say g-rated not g-rated but pg-13 right cover it up with cute little hearts whatever and then be like if you want to see more direct message me and or right or the, or the model right and uh but what i'll do not not uh not so much you know my own personal page but just like you know get a bunch of girls that work out of here let's say right mm -hmm. It's just extra income, and like you should definitely have the credit because you're right. the talent behind it. Right. I'm just looking hot over here. You are the one with the actual talent. <laughs> well, that's a that's a loaded uh, a loaded answer right there. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I I take the pictures, I do the right. videos, no. and I edit the videos, and kind of give it that polished 
look, yeah. look to it. Um, no, but us hot bitches, we do have talent. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, and, we have to if you're the one taking pictures. And then, you know, again, it, we know it's all an act. You know, right. You know, just like if you were to be in a mainstream movie or mm-hmm. whatever, you know, you got to be a good actress. Absolutely. And just like be behind the camera. I have right. to. Uh, I have to act like I'm seducing all of you and like. You guys are the camera. You, you don't have to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you don't have to do something going willingly either way. <laughs> but uh, like uh, like one of them army movies, I surrender. <laughs> I volunteer to you. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> just don't take me out to the field and shoot me. Never that. But um, yeah. So definitely, definitely. Uh, I want to uh, choose a night that we're going to do this each and every week. Definitely. Um, you know, and I'll do little snippets like right. leading up to the show and stuff like that. Right. And then I can know, do my little promotions and right, stuff. Right, exactly. Um, we're going to, like I said, we're going to stick with the Facebook and, uh, and, stuff. and uh, YouTube. We're oh, live YouTube. on as well. Yes. You know, I want to grow that channel because that's a uh, that's a big channel. Well, thing is, if we're going to be doing YouTube and we're able to get to the point where we're able to monetize to this, mm-hmm. you know, obviously that's a check for each of us each month. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here for it. Right. So I mean, I don't know what they exactly uh, what YouTube exactly pays. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't get that deep into it. Well, let us know YouTube. <laughs> yeah, no, there's there's sections on there. Okay. All right, we got two. Uh, we got two uh, viewers right now. Who are you? I got. Uh, I got Jimmy over here. I, well, now I got one viewer. To uh, talk to us, two don't thumbs be up. Shy. Yeah, definitely don't be shy. We just fucking lost them. All right. We don't want them anyway. Well, they couldn't handle us. Well, we want them all, but we want <laughs> to, you know, participate in the. Of course, interact. Now, also, um, <clears throat> I think with this uh, platform, mm-hmm. we're allowed to have. Uh, I think up to 10 people. Okay. So, like, if we're doing. Um, at a clip or yeah. like we have 10 people? Okay. No, we're at a line of Yes. Okay. Oh. Um, like, how I have my setup, like, where we're, uh, we're considered one. Oh, okay. So, we can have <laughs> nine more or still 10? Yeah, nine more people. Okay. And, um, we are one together. <laughs> yeah, if we, do, if we do the um. Oh, well, no, you make me whole. <laughs> you had me at a while. Some Jerry Maguire shit. Oh my god. But um, yeah. So like, I wanted to do uh, a while ago. I wanted to do a show on addiction. Yes. As you know. I lost somebody very close to me a couple years ago, um, which I'm glad the person that uh, did what they did is now sitting in jail for the next ten years. So. Mm. But I've um, lost people mentally to addiction. Right. I've yes. Um. So that's something that I really wanted to. Uh, a subject that I want to touch on, not on a, yes. on, on a funny note of or anything. Like I'm here for that. Just something a little more, you know. Yeah. Hit, hit home, you know. Absolutely. You know, like um, I know my. I friend, have a little bit of a serious twist. Of course, a friend of mine, uh, tattoo Tony Rodriguez, he owns under my skin tattoos down in Atlantic Island. Okay. He wanted to participate in something like that. Um, 
which we'd probably do a road show from his uh, studio. Okay, and he can ink me up while I'm okay. <laughs> Put my picture. On, on my your, ass? On your ass. Make me bite it. <laughs> that would be a great tattoo. It really would. Definitely. It would but like a character. Unique. Like a character tattoo. Yeah. Like a bit monkey. What's Love that? It. Like a bit monkey. There you go. <laughs> then, uh, oh, my God. Then I'd put one uh, on my ass and you bite my ass. I would that hope so. Would, that would be fun. It would only be right. It'd be like one of those friendship necklaces. Oh, love it. <laughs> love it in a sick twisted way oh my god oh someone just said hello beautiful hello johnny. johnny boy what's going on brother we got uh my uh one of my very good friends out there and uh former boss john cliff hope you're doing john. well brother and just remember if uh any of you ladies out there uh Want to date John? You can email him at p to the body at uh, aol.com. <laughs> Peace to the body. Just working, brother. Yeah, that's right. You're busting your ass out there, bro. I'll actually give you a call in a little while. And by the way, this is Michaela. Hello. I go by Tequila Kayla. You, you know, the one that you've been bugging me to meet. This is her. Hi. Hello, beautiful. It's like he already knows my name. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He, he knows, like, he knows the deal. <laughs> but um, I'm not just a pretty face over here. I'm brains and an inappropriate mouth. A nice tit. Dr. Nagy. <laughs> Come on, he's beautiful too, inside and out. Dr. Nagy, I'm going to put your fucking statue up here, amigo. Please. You the man. For real. Yeah, I know, John, her, not me. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, anyway, moving right along, we're, uh, we're about... 27 and a half minutes. Wow, that flew by. So we're gonna uh we're gonna cut it off in about five, roughly. Now I got somebody uh throwing a text at me here. Let's see. Ha <laughs> So, anyway, um, so getting back to the, mm -hmm. getting back to the, what do you call it, um, the show on addiction. Yes. So, I think um, we're going to probably, yeah, probably plan that in the next couple weeks. Okay. Um, I just want to give. Uh, I put my serious pants on. Yeah, I just want to give Tony a shout. Um, yes. But, like. His studio. <laughs> no, keep her on. I will forever be on. Uh, this is uh, the co host with the most, is John. Get it right. Get it tight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I really hope I'm not that bitch that sounds like Chanel West Coast. If I do, oh, I'm no. so sorry. Well, listen, that chick's laugh. It sounds like a fucking hyena. It, it really does. <laughs> No, I can even do it. I'm not that annoying. I mean, like, she's okay. Look. Yeah, she's great until she opens up her mouth. She's one of those. Yes, that's exactly right. I, uh. Like, honestly, she should just be mute. It would be, like, the best thing for her. Yeah, whoever the guy, you know. The I hope they're deaf. Yeah, right. Deaf and stupid. <laughs> I, I hope the guy next door puts fucking earplugs in. Uh, yeah. You would have to, no yeah, doubt. And she tries to sing. And wow. she can't. It's no, it's so embarrassing for her. If yeah. I could, I would crawl into my butthole. Holy shit, we're up to three people. Ooh. Hello. All right. 
All right, Kayla was jiggling them a little bit. My I'll God. keep jiggling oh, them. Lordy, 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 lordy. Life is but a wet dream. Yes, <laughs> lots of them. Um. So, yeah, like I said, I'll get a hold of Tony and I'll arrange this thing. Cool. His personal studio is like a rock and roll shrine. Oh, love it. Like, you walk in to like where he tattoos personally. Uh huh. The um, he has like wrought iron gates, like I kind of have yeah, right, yeah. right here. Uh huh. But the only difference between his and mine, his are shaped like coffins. Awesome. And then he has. I like a nice golf feel. It's cool. Yeah. Then Rock he has. Then Love he has uh, what do you call it? Um, all kinds of guitars, rock and roll oh, memorabilia. Yeah. I just love any tattooer. I need to get ink soon. What are you looking to get? Um, well, seriously. I definitely want my horoscope, which is Capricorn. I want it on my hand. I want a flower to match one for my daughter, but for my sister. Right. Like I have like a cute little baby garden on my hip. I just want quite a few. I got some ideas. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure my friend would be more than accommodating, and will like his work. Yes. You know, but you have to get him to do it because you know, like, don't get me wrong. All of his artists are more than you know capable. Yes. And they're very good, but everyone has their own style. And he he's been in the game like a long time. Mm -hmm. And his work is just second to none. I mean, wow. And he's actually uh, Brett Michael from Poison. He, Stop. He's, he's actually, such a big He's actually his personal artist. Oh, I would love to freaking write something on him. Just And actually, Rick, uh, Rick Giarmo, the guy that plays my guitars, yes. did a guitar for Brett Michaels. Did oh. an acoustic guitar. It, like, uh, I would just like to be two seconds away from him. I probably would definitely have a wet dream next to him. Well, that's a little more information than I need to know. But... <laughs> He's such a babe. Clearly, um, I like older guys. I, I can't, <laughs> I'm not going to But, um, you know, then, uh, like I said, we'll do the, we'll arrange that show with the girls of the uh, only fans and other babes like me, and then uh, you see, um, there's something else that I wanted to do. Like I wanted to have you know live comedian, um, musical guest, you know shit like that. Make you know, make it more of uh, how can you say. Well, a little something for everyone. Right, but like a like a stern show meets oh, Wayne's yes. World meets Opie and Anthony meets oh, yes. They're that all metal great. show. Yes. They're all great shows. Right. So there's no reason why we couldn't do something right here and blow it up, you know. What I mean? Absolutely. Um then you have, uh, you also have Kevin Smith's. Um, You're your only fan. I love that. But you should be one of my fans. I would like that even better. Believe me, being and one of her fans. Believe me, being one of her fans is more rewarding. It's like, <laughs> it's like Christmas every day, Jeff. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. That's for sure. Keeps Without the headache. Coming. No. Without the no. headache. You come, that's supposed to help the headache. You come, she goes. <laughs> um, and if your wife gives you a headache, you can definitely come find me on OnlyFans. See, I'll help you with that next release. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can see tonight's going to be one of those fucking nights. It's only getting started. It's only 10 36. You're right. And I'll just like catch blue bloods like the blue balls. <laughs> yeah, too. <laughs> um, I'll catch that. No, blue blood is a good job. 
Uh, I'll catch blue balls in about a fucking hour. <laughs> Good old Johnny Love Nuts. Oh my god. Johnny Love Nuts again. So I was though working this other club actually right here in Mattawa called the Red Zebra. They're closed now. Mm-hmm. The uh the owner was actually a gay guy. He he was funny. Okay. He's actually a celebrity chef. Uh, Larry okay. Rosenberg, you see him on my He sounds familiar. He did a show with Guy Fieri from uh, Diner oh, Drivers. And Guy Fieri is my mom's like celebrity crush. He, uh, you know that one that he does in, uh, it's like a food store and shit? Yes. Um, well, anyway, okay. Larry did that, right? Cool. And, um, he, uh, he wound up losing, but anyway, um, what I was getting at, when I had uh, got let go from the Red Zebra, Larry's there, like, well, you know, the partners and shit and blah, 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 which was a bullshit story, whatever. Blah, 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 yeah. But Larry took over duties as well. Okay. And, uh, you know, he. So he was a guy at Ben Pats. Yeah. Cool. And he was playing the only like, Beach Boys and, you know, crazy. Oh, my God. Okay. Crazy, like, doo and stuff like that, right? While shippers are yeah. stripping? Okay, if you're so, into I, that. I, I'm sorry, but, you know, like... Uh, I don't know how I personally strip. I'm not a stripper, but I couldn't even strip. Like, but how could you, like, that. strip, like, songs like Surfing USA and Surfer Girl and Surfer shit? Under the boob. Like, no. Yeah, exactly. And honestly, no. So anyway, I go in there one day and I'm just like, you know, trying to raise hell and whatnot. I'm like, and say, what the fuck is this shit? I was like, man, it's DJ Larry Love Nuts. <laughs> We're like, Larry, the has been playing that shit. And no like, sense. And then these are like screaming from the booth, fuck you, John, fuck you. <laughs> I was like, better you in that cage than me. Oh my God. Right, that's good music to trip to. Yeah. And uh, I had one fun night. Bourbon Street. I was a bourbon babe one night. Couldn't do it. My grandma found out. Yeah, well, Made me feel bad. You know, it was a great time. I'm here for it. it I wish I had my own pool so I could do it on OnlyFans. I would love to take stripper like courses and stuff to learn how to dance. But it's funny because one of the other uh, lost um, bartenders. Mm -hmm. She's making the conversion stripping. Okay. Not who you think she ever did. Oh, Lord. Okay. But uh, the other little one. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, she's going to take classes like that. I would just like to do it. So, you know. Yeah, but the thing is, there's a difference. You, you already know how to make money. <laughs> and I, I would have even nicer tummy and shit. Yeah, but you know how to get it out of the bag. Yeah. Okay. This is somebody That's with sure. this is somebody with no experience about it. Mm. Like um, That's unfortunate. unfortunate. You know. And she could probably yeah, I know make, a little bit of right, but she could probably make so much more, you know, if she was experienced or send her my way. Or at least had some game. Right. Just gotta have a little bit. Yeah, it, it does. A little bit of sparkle. It, it doesn't really take much. No, not for some guys. It doesn't take a lot. Yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're nice to somebody. You show somebody that you might have a little inkling right. that you give a shit. I'm a working flirting machine. There you go. So you know, you know, you basically know what's going on and how to. How to go up. Right. How to do what you got to do to make it and make it happen. And make it hard. <laughs> Harder than fucking Chinese math. Here we go with the Chinese metaphors again. Oh. All right. So we're at uh, 39 minutes. I thought we went longer than I thought we were going to go tonight. But anyway, we're going to wrap this up right now. Everybody, you know me. I'm John Vincent. This is Tequila Kayla. Hey. We're going to be back uh, sometime during the middle of this week. I'll uh, 
start putting stuff out probably Monday. See, uh, see when the next time we're going to get this shit show going. And uh, that's it for tonight. Everyone has an amazing and sexual weekend. You're welcome. Well, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going that crazy, but uh, what she said. Right. I hope everyone has a great time. Just be safe. Wrap that shit. Wrap the old snake. Uh, <laughs> Wrap the fuck snake. <laughs> there you go. Don't be stupid. Don't be silly. Put a snake skin on that willy. Oh my god. All right, people. For Kayla and myself, good night. Have a great weekend. See everybody hopefully next week, probably Wednesday. Stay sexy. Bye. Peace.